Monica. And I'm Melissa. Welcome to our handmade home in Salem, Massachusetts. Feldman and I own House Switch Home and Healing in Salem, Massachusetts. My name is Melissa Nierman and I have a tour company called Now Aids Travel and I run personal rainbow aura photography out of House Switch. So I'm a Scorpio rising, so I pretty much came out of the womb um, into witchcraft. But, you know, in my family, we were really able to just kind of like explore spiritualities and when um, the craft came out when I was 14 and I saw it on opening night and I just was like, yeah, that is for me. Like I loved the girl gang aspect of it. I loved the, the aesthetics of that movie. But unfortunately, a lot of the practices of like Wicca, which was sort of what was like available to learn about at Barnes and Noble in Downers Grove, Illinois, um, I kind of was turned off by that brand of magic actually. And I fell away from witchcraft for about 10 years, and then um, I did a study abroad at Cambridge University in England, and I took a class called Witchcraft in Early Modern History. And I realized that that was totally the nexus of like everything I've been interested in like my whole life. So witchcraft and feminism and history. So I studied witches from a bunch of different angles, media studies, history, gender studies, um, and that's when I moved to Salem. It's interesting because I'm actually from Massachusetts. Um, I never thought that I would move back here. <laughs> um, that was actually like being just kind of like drawn by love and I, I think magic. Um, my first job was actually a ghost tour guide and I started to learn about the history. Like I honestly didn't really know about it and I just love like place and I love adventures and as time went on I decided that I really wanted to be able to share a different side of Salem that I think wasn't necessarily being presented and so um, people come for coven bachelorette parties some people are here because they believe they had a past life in Salem and they'll talk about their family members you know warning them like be careful when you go to Salem like make sure like nobody curses you and I'm like I don't know why anyone want to curse you I have always been interested in interiors just as a sensitive person it was a way for me to control my environment and help with my kind of like anxiety and so alongside my interest in witchcraft my interest in interiors kind of grew and that's how house witch started and I started making spell kits so that I could give the experience of like having me come over to your house and those resonated really well and so I opened the store seven, eight months after I started the spell kit. Erica has created this really amazing kind of foundation for a lot of people to, a lot of weirdos we'll say, <laughs> to kind of like shine in the world and to really kind of bring a voice to people that might not be heard. This building is really interesting. So originally it was built as Salem's first theater. And the people of Salem, who are kind of the descendants of like the Puritans, were not thrilled to have a theater. They literally were like, this is Satan's work. Like, I mean, I don't know why like God would Tales like theater, time but. Here. That's when we learned about Elizabeth Inchbald, uh, a, an out lesbian, writing a gender satire yeah. and that being the first play put on here. As far as our home, I mean, everything is very intentional. Using um, vintage and secondhand furniture is definitely like part of my witchcraft practice, which is like to do no harm to the earth as much as possible. So yeah, over here we have our big green velvet couch. This is a pullout sofa and we've had some very powerful witches. Yeah on the sleeper sofa, so yeah. it's charged. This is one of my favorite pieces in the house, the uh, bean coffee table. And it ends up being kind of a work altar for me because I do work in this space a lot. So there's a lot of books and different crystals and objects that I find inspiring on the table. This is one of my favorite vintage mm -hmm. finds. 
Um, I needed it to be such a specific shape and size. And how could I have imagined that there was going to be a white, perfect condition, like 80s bean shaped table with a gold like disco base. I could have never imagined that piece of furniture in my wildest dreams. And there it was, vintage. I do think it's like one of your superpowers <laughs> though. Like I feel like Erica manifests it. Whatever Erica like is thinking about, it always appears. And it can be so specific. It's like the wildest thing. I do feel like people can feel the energy of things, even if they're not aware that they're feeling the energy of things. We love our cheetah chair. We love it so much we have two. We have a lot of like big cat energy in the house and yeah. I just like furniture you can pet, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good magical practice to, if you are in a couple, um, to have pairs of things. And so we definitely have a lot of pairs of cats, the white fluffy cats. Yeah, <laughs> I think they might be future cats or guardian cats, but we've named them Sasha and Shoshana. <laughs> so you'll see around the place we have lots of representations of Sasha and Shoshana. We also have some black cats too, which are Heidi and Helga. We kind of love the aesthetic of like, humans are gone and plants are reclaiming. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed all the vines yeah. like going up. We really up. let yeah. our vines like climb and go wild. And um, the bird of paradise plant is named Kirsten after Queen Kirsten Dunst because we definitely did a whole like film festival yeah. of Kirsten Dunst. She's amazing. She's played every type of blonde. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ever. I really re recommend just watching every one of Kirsten Dunst's <laughs> movies like in a row. She's amazing. So let's head upstairs. Good idea. <laughs> so this is our bedroom. Right over our bed, this beautiful macrame piece was made by a friend of mine, Marissa Curran, um, for our wedding, actually. So we stood in front of that during our wedding ceremony, and we love having it over the bed. A very magically charged object, I would say. Um, over here, this is our yeah. love altar. The aura photo from our honeymoon is one of the centerpieces, I would say. The woman wrote on it, soul connection, don't screw it up. So yeah. when I had it framed, I made sure that I kept that in there. Um, really good advice. Yeah, I definitely look at it every day and I'm like, <laughs> don't screw it up, don't screw it up, soul connection. So this was a Valentine's Day present for Melissa, maybe like our second Valentine's together. It's actually a geode with a teeny tiny us and teeny tiny white cats in yeah. it. Yeah, it's funny because Erica was like, you'll never guess the Valentine's Day present that I got you. <laughs> and I'm like, I literally never would have guessed that it would be tiny us and a geode with two white cats. Triangle window that we love. We have a little sun catcher in it. This is every queer is magic. And so at a certain time, probably around like three or four in the afternoon, this whole room fills with rainbows from the sun catcher. It's pretty cool. There is cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll is 17 years old. He's been with me since I was 23. And we think that he might be a 500 year old magician in a cat's body. This is a star map of the sky the day Melissa and I met. So that's cute. <laughs> October 12th, 2015. These are built-in bookcases that, you know, came with the joint. This is a really sentimental shelf for me with um, pictures of my family and my ancestors. And then this Felix toy that I actually have had since I was like, you know, two. So this is a, a box that my dad actually built for us. He based it on Erica's spell kits. Yeah, and he put the Old House Witch logo on it. He spent like a year making this and it was like a big surprise. <laughs> and Melissa's logo is on the back. And it has little drawers and everything. Yeah, so this is our 45 square feet of uh, Oasis, I guess you could say out here. We've really tried to make the most of it. Yeah, it really, it feels like vacation, which we both really like vacation. <laughs> yeah, it gets full sun all day long and we get a lot of really amazing moon rises um, over this porch as well. No, so. totally. I mean, we literally moved here for this 45 square feet. So the rest of the place is really a bonus, I think. <laughs> Behind you, I don't know if y'all want to get the pink flamingos. They're definitely a prized possession, so. 
I do think that the idea that witchcraft has to look a particular way or that it has to be like black velvet or like all the power to you if you like black velvet and like that's, right. that's your vibe and that like feels empowering. But I think it really is about finding what feels empowering to you. Yeah. You know, and I think for us, it's a lot of color. It's a lot of whimsy. You know, it's being surrounded by things that our friends made. To be a magical person, it's like, you don't have to look a particular way or act a particular way. Like magic is magic. And I think everybody has their own magic inside of them. And it's about expressing that in your own way. So thanks for visiting and you can come and see us when you're in Salem at House Witch Home and Healing. I don't know what I mean. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Big um, boppity boo. Let me do it. <laughs> Abracadabra. Abracadabra.